Hey everybody, let's play Ivan once again, or Iter Behemon Ad Nisium. All right, are we are we rolling there? Good, everything looks good. Okay, so I was thinking last time of. Like, I, I named the title of this video, like, uh, what was it? Sword and Spear, or something like that. Speared and Sword will win, uh, because I was not feeling very inventive last night, but that's okay. I was thinking about using the, the broken spear named Verminous, even though my current shield... I might want to reconsider this. My current shield is plus four. <clears throat> so is my weapon. Whereas the Verminous is just, you know, an ordinary thing. I could use it just to have the teleport control. That's the main... Ow! Orc Slaughterer just, uh... Gave my torso a nice... Yeah, it took another nice chunk out of my torso, uh... Let, let's pull back slightly. Is he, uh... Hey, he's just as fast as me. Okay, so running away is not gonna work. <laughs> Guess, uh... Wow, this Orc Slaughterer must have... Ah, an iron axe plus five. Ooh, look at you. With uh, equipment that has pluses on it. <laughs> you have nothing to zap with, dork. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> well, thank you for putting it so nicely. This is the problem with putting your wands in a chest. We just recently put my wands in a chest. And now, if I want to use one, I have to pull one of my wands out of a chest. And it takes an extra turn. So let's drink some troll blood. Mmm. E how long is that gonna take? Continue to drink troll blood? Oh, I had the amulet of life saving. Yeah, the drinking troll blood took too long too. You can't just drink a potion real quick in this game. I got myself killed and had to use the amulet of life saving. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. That wasn't a. Uh, that's not a good way to restart a uh, session. I'm glad I had that thing. Damn. Gotta be careful. Okay, well, what have we learned? To not put all of your wands in a chest. To pull out some essential ones. Uh, yeah, I just... And I didn't expect... And, and also that... Uh, powerful monsters can come out at any time and kill you in this game. That would have... That could have just been game over for me. I, I told you how hard this game is before. Uh, inventory. Apply. That's right. You, you apply the chest. I forgot, this game is weird terminology. A, to apply. I was like, I want to O, to open the chest. This is how it works in some games, but not this one. Hey there, Alex Forbetto. Hey, O, oh, good to see you. Uh, on the upswing of things, if this character does die, his equipment will just uh, be turned into a bones file, and we might uh, find it again later. But uh, I'd rather, rather not die. And Vladimir of Rivia, good to see you again, too. Welcome back. Alright, so, yeah, just, uh, take out the teleportation wand, and, uh, yeah, we have another wand of polymorph. That's right, I had a wand of polymorph. That's why I put myself next to that poly pile, quote-unquote, that I was doing. Right. Okay, well, we're not gonna pull that out just yet, but the wand is slow, always. Good. A good decision. Good thing to have. Okay. Yes, yes, I can finally say it right. I was, I know, I was having, I was saying it wrong before so many times. Because I wasn't, uh, some reason not recognizing it from the game. Alright. So there's a wand of polymorph here, but this one I just have to a bunch of time is this one's empty. But I could, like, break it to reload it. Or just polymorph it, but this is, I guess it'll be the marker for where to start zapping from. I don't, yeah, I don't need more banana flesh. And I don't need those food. Okay, five items. Five items, five items. There's five items every, every single bit. Ah, uh, mountain blade server we could all join? Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. Or, um, I don't know, there's like those free online games, like, uh, you know, uh, the, the, 
um, Planet Side 2 was kind of cool. It's like that. That's one certainly that a bunch of people could get together on as well. Or um, I did. I did kind of like that one, and that one's free. So that that's one that definitely people can get on um or get in on. Uh, I did used to play like the what was it, the Warframe, but I think you, the most you can do in that is like eight people. Or or some sort of IO game, yeah, we could do that too. <laughs> Just flood a server. Uh, yeah. Obviously, there's some sort of implied trust on the EO games, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that that could be fun. Those those could be fun too. Like the deep EO, kind of looked neat last time I saw it. Or Gmod. Uh, I don't have Gmod, but yeah, you can get that. And I bet that's going to go on sale for the summer sale. I bet. I wouldn't be surprised. So I really ought to get the Gmod. Dot up games? What up games? Oh, EO games. <laughs> EO games? Yeah. But there's like that that deep with like extra piece. Deep EO. That's like uh, you're like the different oceanic creatures like a, a seagull or a, you know, a jellyfish or like you know, you can become a whale. I forget they added more creatures to that one, but that one that would look kind of neat. I saw someone playing that. Yeah, that one with or extra E's, not extra P's. Did I say extra P's? Extra E's, D P O. Right. <laughs> I forgot which which letter I was repeating. Did I say uh, yeah? It doesn't have a bunch of P's. That'd be silly. <laughs> no, it has extra E's. Yeah, of course. <laughs> now it all makes sense. All right, but yeah, that's that's the one. All right, polymorph. Back to the task at hand. Zap. All right, so we now have a broken mithril warhammer that could sell for a pretty penny. A scroll of repair to repair the mithril warhammer, or a banana. Don't need that. Wand of necromancy. Sure, a uh, carrot. Delicious. It's actually more useful than one would expect. But I'll leave the cans of banana flesh and an iron halberd. Okay, so five items here. Four items here. Okay, we need yeah, we need we need more junk to polymorph. Ah, yeah, I um, <laughs> I did uh, I did fistful of frags before, but uh, yeah, I wasn't I was incredibly good at it, but I had fun. Yeah, we can do fistful of frags again. That'd be fun. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the banana like I don't really need like my character has plenty of food, but the carrot. In this game, magically increases your perception stat. So now I have 18 perception I can see better, whereas the banana's just food. Now, if it was the holy flaming banana, then I'd get the banana. Because there is there is a holy flaming banana in this game. And that's the... What was it? O o Olive... O Oprive? Or something? It had a weird name. <laughs> but the... Uh, yeah. Yes, you could. You could download this... This game, or you're talking about Fistful of Frags. Either one of those, yeah. <laughs> you can certainly you can certainly play this on a really crappy computer. We were playing this game a long time ago. It's an older game, but I love it. I love it because it's uh it's just uh just a bit crazy. But anyways, the holy banana. I was talking about the holy flaming banana. Because if we can get one of those suckers it'd be cool. Right, I can ah, the cat. Okay. We can take these lanterns on the wall. And we can turn those into uh, things. Give me those. Give me the lantern. So I was gonna say, what happened to my pickaxe? I'm gonna need to, gonna need to get some junk here. But take these, take those. Okay, a bunch of junk. Don't get burned down. Too much. But yeah, good to see you, Big Dipper. Ah, it has a 1.6 gigahertz CPU. Yeah, that's pretty old these days. Although, <laughs> I remember, uh, although I remember when that was really good. You know. <laughs> Yeah. But or yeah, I remember when that was that was really good. But uh or it's not it's not that bad, <laughs> yeah. But uh Yeah. Certainly these days it's they've got they've got some very nice very nice stuff out there. Alright, so Ooh, a ring of teleport control. That was the very reason why I wanted to wield Verminous. Hmm. Well, maybe I should wear the teleport control over the, uh... 
Over the ring of Invervision. Yeah, teleport control. But then I won't be able to see invisible. What if something invisible comes up and, uh, and then just murders me? <laughs> Alright. Well, teleportation control is useful. Alright, let's set down, like, two lanterns here. And another two items here. It's cool that you've played this one before. Glad to hear it. It's a good one. I'd say it's a very good one. Alright, but I'm leaving the banana because I'm going to polymorph it again. Because maybe it'll turn into the holy flaming banana. If we give it a chance. Just got to give it a chance. I guess I'll drop the rest of the stuff right here. Last lantern. Okay, there we go. Give it a zap with the polymorph on. Alright. Bunch of garbage. Bunch of garbage. Ah, <laughs> now it's a banana peel. <laughs> or something like that. A gold stone, I'll take that. Broken boot of strength. But I've got, like, iron boots, so that's not as good. Wanda haste. Thank you. That is definitely a boss weapon. <laughs> um, open broadcasting software. Open broadcasting software is free. I mean, that's... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> or Bandicam. But uh, for Windows 10? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure open broadcasting software works on... Like, multiple operating... Right, I dropped... Somebody set down their last lamp. I was using one of those as a light source. Right. <laughs> I mean, I was gathering up lamps to... Uh, to destroy. I could use the corpse of an imp as a... Polymorphing thing, but that thing's heavy. I don't want to... Chuck... Carry that around. Of course, lamps can also be sacrificed to Legifer, but... Legifer is not around. I haven't found... I'm disappointed that I haven't find, found a shrine to Legifer. There's this, uh... There's this god who likes glass and lanterns, so... If you keep... If you keep giving him... Sacrificing lanterns to him, he'll just, uh... Eventually give you an angel. Or, like, replace your arms with glass or something if you ask him. <laughs> that, that part's not as good, but, uh... He'll, um... He can make explosions on demand, which is a pretty... It's a pretty cool... He's a pretty cool god to have... And if you give him enough lanterns, which there's always plenty of lanterns on the walls as you go down the dungeons, eventually, you know, he, uh, he, he blesses you with it. Or blesses you for it. Wait, which, which of these spots didn't have enough? Kind of like Terraria? Kind of. But with imminent death. Every turn. Yeah, I set down enough. Yeah, every single spot is five? Okay, yeah. All right. Don't know why I was getting all, uh, confused then. Slow on invisibility. I thought I took two, one, one too many from one spot. Skull teleportation and the carrot. Alright, we'll need to replace one item here. Lump of glass. Alright, five items there. Detect material. Sulfuric acid and a helmet of brilliance plus one. Hmm... I always could get it fixed up, but mine is a full steel helmet. The Helmet of Brilliance. The Helmet of Brilliance was one that increased your intelligence, though. That The Helmet of Brilliance could be really useful. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's give that thing a shot. It's a magic helmet. That's a magic brain helmet for thinking with me. Me think good with magic brain helmet. <laughs> I'm going to take my test. All right, do you plan to take that test with that helmet on? Yes, I do. It's my thinking helmet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, 30 minutes till pencil's down. <laughs> 20 perception. <laughs> Just of, you know, being in full armor while taking, or, you know, full helmet. <laughs> it's my thinking helmet. I think very well with it on. Right, so I've got four lanterns. It's like, wh where was, where's my junk? Didn't I have junk for the situation? There we go. Polymorph. Ah, we're out. Okay. Then we'll set down that uh, wand of polymorph. It has three charges instead of two, though. So when I recharge it, I'm going to recharge that one. If I get another scroll of charging. 
But we got some nice stuff. Now my perception is 20. I've got some extra wands. Particularly... Yeah, what happened? I should have revived the go the Goblin King. When, when Did I kill the Goblin King, right? Yeah, last time... Or no. Or did I kill him? I fought him. Next time I see the Goblin King, I ought to revive him. And make him into one of my pets. <laughs> my pet Goblin King. That'd be good. Alright, so uh, apply the chest. Put... I'm not going to be using the following ones just yet. The Invisibility... The necromancy. We're this slow. But I'll keep a haste a slow in its teleportation. These things will go off when there's an explosion. Yeah, I highly recommend uh, open broadcasting software. It's, uh, it's a good one. An Arcanite Golem. Who critically hits me? You don't have to be so critical about it. I mean, I know I haven't been making the best decisions, but... <laughs> Let's not be critical here. This, this, right? Ah, yes, the corpse of Guzgamesh, the Goblin King. Guzgamesh, the Goblin King, rise from your grave. Let's, uh, this, I, this is where I killed him. Um, I used to have a wand to revive, but now I've just got the necromancy, so. You know, I was going to bring you back up to life, uh, you know, like complete life, but, you know, you'll just have to be a zombie. Rise from your the a zombie of Guzgamesh to the Goblin King. Rises back to cursed undead life. Right, I might have been able to stack up like a row of corpses. Oh well, we just got Guzgamesh. Hey, Guzzy, how's it going? Alright, um, put your Guzzy. <laughs> Alright, we're already giving him a pet name. Uh, yes. Right, I'm weighed down with crap, actually. What am I doing? Also, I could repair... I could use a scroll of repair, but let's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> the zombie of Gus Kamesh equips his boots. He dons his armor and equips his boot. Good. He has armed himself. Right, that was my last lantern. I need one of those lanterns. Okay, so... I'm burdened with just a golden stone in particular. But uh, a lot of... A lot of junk. Let's... Let's go back to town and sell a few things. Plus, I'm a bit wounded. Okay. Well, yeah, the the, the square and blockiness, <laughs> the, the the square nature of everything, I would say it's that's a fair comparison to make there. But uh, <laughs> yes, in uh, in this one, unless you're de depending on which uh, Minecraft mod you're playing, but. Shirax can't just come out of the woodwork and whip your limbs off. You can get your limbs. Your limbs ripped off, which is... <laughs> that's, uh... That, that bit... That bit's a bit, um... A bit surprising. <laughs> that's a bit different. You can only fix, I, I, fix items made of metal. Okay. And the other guy fixes items made of leather. What? Cheat? No, I don't want to cheat. I want to chat. There's a difference between... What What did I... Pr what? Oh, is that control C? No? What button did I press? It said, do you want to cheat, cheater? I don't want to cheat. I want to chat. Shift, shift C to chat. I said no. I said no to cheating. <laughs> I said no, by the way. If you, FYI. But I didn't know there was a cheat button. Do you want to cheat, cheater? No, no, thank you. But yeah, uh, there's no... There's no like spear repair dude or wood repair dude so I got to I got to use the scroll to fix the spear named verminous so okay we repaired the spear named verminous <laughs> cheat <laughs> no that's all right uh uh yeah i'd rather play this the old fashioned way maybe at some point <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to cheat if you feel, if you ever uh, play this game. That's fine. You know. But I want to try to beat it just the usual way. Yeah, there's another scroll repair here. What else did I leave in the library? Taming teleportation. 
yeah, a lot of other repairs, or I could read some more books, try to get my character smarter. Or I could donate more books to the other god. I don't know what I should do with the rest of my cash at this point. There's some extra wands. What else do we have here? Iron chainmail, hardened leather cloak of fire resistance. Yeah, my current cloak was acid resistance, which is pretty good. And I've got the ring of fire resistance. Yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Building a gaming PC from 1998 parts. That, uh, that works. Alright, uh, yeah, so. The Salthul. And then... It's somewhat difficult for you to wield this item with one hand. My character is not quite strong enough to do that. But if I do, I'll have teleport control and occasionally teleport my opponents when I hit them. But I'm not going to be blocking nearly as much, so... Hmm. Maybe I don't know... Maybe I don't want to go with that setup that I wrote in the title just... Just yet, because I'm not strong enough. I gotta... I gotta get my arms stronger. I gotta train. I gotta do, do a training montage before, before I can do that. But the Helmet of Brilliance, on the other hand, that's got 14 armor for just... Yeah, okay, so sweet. Yeah, we got ourselves a new helmet at the very least. But yeah, I'm going to wield that spear. I think that wielding the spear will be a good idea. Alright, so now I got 14, 14 intelligence too, which means that uh, when I do certain spells, I'll be do, able to... Or certain scrolls, I can... Well, I'll be able to do a lot more with my... Right, I'll be able to control my teleports further... I'll be able to do various, various things, magical things better. Hey, Jacob, good to see you. Welcome back. But like, I, when I get a scroll of, like, change material, I can choose the material I change it to. And, like, hardening. I can harden materials a lot better, so. Uh, one ring of teleportation. We have two of those. But yeah, with teleport control and teleportation, that'll be a very nice setup, I gotta say. Just got to do some strength, strength training. Hmm. Should be very careful about that. But it just says it's somewhat difficult to wield it with one hand. So what if I wield the spear with one hand and fight a grizzly bear? <laughs> you stab your journey. Your verminous sends the grizzly bear on a sudden journey. Yeah, if I wield, yeah, if I one hand the spear, I'm uh, I'm gonna get my strength up, but I'm gonna be more vulnerable. So, I gotta be, I gotta be careful. Oh, it's one of those lightning ghosts. Okay, gotta be careful. I saw some lightning going around. There it is. There it is. It's uh, the um, Hati Fatner. Hati Fatner, <laughs> which is uh, I think that's some sort of ghost. I think it's some sort of German kind of thing. But I've got a. I've got 75 for um, health, and I've got the, cl the yeah, wait. Or no, I don't have the electricity resistance on. Whoa, hey. Uh, okay, let's switch off the teleport control for the electricity resistance ring. Okay, there we go. Now I can fight the hottie Fatner. <laughs> okay, otherwise... Oh, where do you wish to teleport? Oh, because... Oh, you occasionally teleport with this thing. Sweet. Poof, I'm right next to you, hottie Fatner. Yes, you fired a massive bolt of elect uh, yeah, a massive bolt of electricity where I was, but I'm here now. Ow! Oh, it explodes when you kill it. My leg is my leg is all uh, the hottie fattener, the hottie fattener, fattener. The ghost I just killed that just nearly blew my leg off with the lightning explosion it just made. My leg! I can't feel my leg. All right, uh, let's just uh, let's just get in the corner. I'm just gonna rest here. The giant spider does seem to be hostile. Uh, all right, I'll just I'll just rest over here. It, okay, I got my legs feeling a bit better. I might stab you, giant spider. I'm just just saying. At least he generated a lot of stuff for me to polymorph. Yeesh, that's some good uh, endurance training, is what that is. All right. The gray unicorn seems to be hostile. Continue resting. No, the gray unicorn. The gray unicorn. Okay. Well, hello, Mr. Unicorn. Okay, I'm going to teleport over here then. Poof. 
Yeah, be, yeah. The, I forgot that. Uh, yeah, the ghosts are rare monsters. <laughs> yes, I think they are. Um, but yeah, the Verminous occasionally teleports you too. You've got teleport control and teleport all in one package. And you teleport your opponents. So the Verminous is pretty sweet if I can just get the strength to wield it. So I gotta be very careful. But if I can do this, fighting grizzly bears will be good training. I will become strong, and I will, I will attain victory. Okay, we might want to get out of... <laughs> you managed to choke yourself on the web. <laughs> I got caught in the web and I managed to choke myself. <laughs> you go unconscious. You wake up. It's a good thing the bear didn't see me because I'm invisible. <laughs> oh, well, that was, that was, that was, that was smooth. <laughs> Real smooth. You send, you send the grizzly bear on a sudden journey. <laughs> That's the thing. It's harder to kill opponents if you keep sending them on a sudden journey. Ah, it's the zombie of Guzgamesh. Did the, the corpse of a lion, right. I might as well continue to eat the corpse of a lion. Satiates my, my lion-like hunger. But yeah, I'm a little bit afraid. Get your cursor off the screen. I'm a little bit afraid of moving forward, progressing down deeper in the dungeons because... Oh. There was a... Okay. There was, apparently there was something there. So I couldn't uh, couldn't teleport to that spot, apparently. That uh, whenever... If you can't teleport where you try to teleport, it makes you teleport randomly. What's with the green glow? Oh! Look at you. It's a green... Uh, a green light crystal golem. So this is a, yeah, if I kill one of these, I'll get a nice light source. Ow. But they're pretty strong. Also, my equipment's covered in blood. Okay, where do I wish to teleport to? I think I'll stay right here. I'm okay. Ah, got it. Okay. So now we got a magic crystal stone that weighs significantly less than a lantern. However, um... Now, the dungeon will be lit by a sickly green glow. <laughs> and, you know, it's probably radioactive, so I've got cancer. But, you know, that'll kill me, you know, far down the road. <laughs> and you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have proper children. But, <laughs> yeah, covered in blood because of killing so many monsters, exactly. <laughs> uh, exact, that's exactly the situation. Alright, uh, also, yes, I want to grab a few tin cans. Right, there was a tin can back there. Hey, Guzgamesh! Hey, buddy. Can we talk? Um, issue commands. Follow me. Yeah, you're following me. Okay, yeah. Come on, buddy. Uh, we've got things to do. But there was another... Uh, there was some tin cans down there here, wasn't there? Yeah, over here. Okay. You can't quite escape from the web. I'm, I'm stuck in a web and I'm fighting it. I got stuck in a web and I... I just wanted those tin cans for the extra healing fluid. I should have... I was stuck in a web and I underestimated that I got myself killed. <laughs> Do you want to see your inventory? The orcs, it was an orc squad leader. It was a leader. It wasn't just, it wasn't just a, uh, an average orc slaughterer. I saw a negative, I saw a negative equipment. It's like, oh, he's got a, he's got a halberd negative one. I can, I can deal with that. <laughs> you have died. The high priest is not happy. Killed by an orc squad leader while caught in a spider web. Damn it, I should have just tapped myself with a wand. There were so many things I could have done there if I didn't just... I got complacent. I got overconfidence. Overconfidence kills. Well, we can always get that equipment back. It's the stats that's... Well, okay. Then we're gonna be, uh... Hmm. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of the, uh... The paradoxes of Zeno. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> so, Zeno. Zeno's gonna do it. All right. That'll be their new character. Because if you try to name a character the same name, it says, well, that character's already dead. You can't be that name. A balsa wood spear. Let's just get stuck in again. We can always we can always find our old equipment. If we discover that, uh, if we get to that floor of the cave. Should I wield the balsa wood spear? It's better than nothing. All right. I'm going to train this guy to make sure he gets strong. This guy, this character is going to be particularly strong. We're going to do more, uh, more stat training. 
Because I was advancing through the game really fast, but I wasn't exactly doing things to power up my character that you can do in this game. And you need that sort of thing. You need to worry about having good, not just a good equipment, but uh, yeah, having good physical might. Hey there, all might. Speaking of that, I didn't, uh, I focused on my equipment too much and not enough of my, like having more endurance or more strength or things like that. All right, let's wear these iron boots. <laughs> But there's some, there's some kind of silly things you can do in this game that are unconventional ways of powering up. We're gonna, we're gonna do some things that risk my life a bit more in, in, in hopes that it'll help the long, the long-term game. Should I wear these bronze gauntlets? I don't know. <laughs> yes, that orc was unfair. It needs a nerf. Alright, uh... <laughs> More like the spider web. Ow, okay. Large hedgehog. Dealt me some damage. Get some rest. So, I've essentially armored up my limbs and left my torso vulnerable here. I've got bronze gauntlets and... Hmm. I don't know. That's There's there's a minor concern about this, this armor distribution. Maybe just the leather gauntlets. Yeah, these bronze gauntlets are a bit heavy. Of course, they might get my character stronger. Yes. Uh, that's what I figured you said. <laughs> it's more like my situational awareness. Situational awareness was a bit, uh, a bit unfair. In that, uh, I didn't have any. Alright, a copper pickaxe. That'll be useful. Hey there, Greenleaf. Good to see you. But one of the interesting things you can do is you can let, like, uh, giant mushrooms grow. And grow out of control. And then you can use those as, like, training dummies. Because they're not that painful. Ow. And they also give you, like, these giant mushrooms. I'm gonna let these giant mushrooms grow out of control. In fact... I'm gonna actually literally cultivate these suckers. And we're gonna be mushroom men. It's gonna be a bit awkward, but this is a this is a unconventional strategy you can do in this game. Continue digging? No, okay. Cause the the mushrooms are enemies that attack you but aren't that great of a threat. They're not that great of a food source, but if they oh, take over a level they sure can be. But make sure you don't do um make sure you don't do magic mushrooms. The magic mushrooms are dangerous. You gotta do the normal giant mushrooms. <laughs> magic mushrooms in this game are so magical that they put off this the, these these spores that can po occasionally polymorph people. And polymorph in this game, it, it can polymorph into like just about anything. Like, oh, that uh, that rat there. Now it's a spider silk golem. Now it's a, a great you know great grizzly bear. It's a lion. You know who cares? It's the first it's the first floor of the game. You say. The very large hedgehog got a critical hit to the head. You wake up. Holy shit, my dog saved me. I'm alive. I, t I survived a critical hit to the head. My brain, no work, no more. <laughs> oh no, both my limbs, both my limbs and my head are like black hash marks. That means that they're critical condition. All right, I'm just gonna just lie here in critical conditions. You feel tougher than anything. Yes, we've had some endurance training there. How? <laughs> Owie. <laughs> Nothing like... Yeah, this is Spider-Man the game. Ow. It's, oh, I think I think I'm Hedgehog now. I think I'm Hedgehog Man. Ouch. Because, I mean, wasn't the story of Spider-Man that he got bitten by a spider? I think got just rocked by a hedgehog. Kenny! Hey, Kenny. Where are you, boy? Yeah, yeah, come with me, Kenny. We've got work to do. You and me. Should I take the shield? I probably should take the steel shield. Wait, am I wielding? I'm wielding the damn uh, pickaxe. I was doing that for the... Somewhat what difficult to use the shield. Well, it, it do, it, do it any... Oh yeah, somewhat difficult for you to use the axe in one hand. Okay, I can't use the axe one-handed. It's like, I can use... Somewhat difficult to use the shield one-handed, yes. Damn it, everything's doing me criticals in the head! Ow! Son of a bitch! Ow, and now you lose consciousness... The jackal gnaws on your chest for a while. You wake up, and it's like, oh, right. Being gnawed on. 
No, it killed Kenny! You bastard! Damn that the jackal followed me the jackal followed me down the stairs. Ow, it's continuing to gnaw on me. Okay, I killed it. I killed it. I killed it. Whew. Ow. Oh, jeez. Alright. Well, I'm glad that my endurance I'm getting a lot of endurance training for this guy. This guy's gonna have good stats. We can I can already I can see it now. <laughs> he's getting a lot of he's it's is surviving tough things will make you stronger. <laughs> that which does not kill us. Jack o' lantern, yes. Alright, so it looks like the mushrooms are growing out of control pretty well. I'm gonna continue to help those suckers. Let's do some pickaxe work. Duh. And if I work with the pickaxe here, I get more strength training. Alright. And now I'm gonna have to feed. I'm getting really hungry though. Yeah. Food's a bit more of a concern early on in the game. So I'm gonna. Ow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. The mushrooms can hurt you, but not that bad. I'm just gonna eat a few of my mushrooms. It's time to harvest the mushrooms. Oh, you another one grew next to me? Stop it. Yum. Giant mushrooms don't feed you a lot, but uh, they're enough to get by. <laughs> they stave off the hunger, and I also have ESP, temporarily. Alright, you feel tougher than anything. 12 endurance. Okay, so here's a dangerous thing. As you get more endurance... The game throws... Yeah, <laughs> that jackal took my flesh. As you get more endurance in this game, the game ratchets up the difficulty. Like, endurance is one of the things you gotta be a bit careful about. There are certain enemies in the game that only start to appear once you reach... once you pass a certain love, uh, threshold of endurance. Obviously, as the game... The game gets more difficult with time in general, but as you gain more endurance, like, so you'll start meeting, like, kamikaze dwarves and stuff. And, like, let's say you start meeting kamikaze dwarves and you don't have fire resistance. Well, you're just freaking bones, so... You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with getting too much endurance in this game. It's just how it works. Damn skeleton. <laughs> the other stats, however, you can go to town and it doesn't look like, uh... I don't think it changes much. Ow, okay, that axe. Ah, ow. Damn it. Dead. Damn. I couldn't get away from him. That skeleton was nuts. He was using a bronze axe minus one, but I just couldn't hit him. Why couldn't I hit him? That was terrible luck. Alright, you bastard. Alright, well, Zeno just ate. Zeno got killed. Alright, well, then I'm, um... I'm, uh... <laughs> ah, if it, you're, I'm, you're not on my first stream, it's because you're at work. That's fair enough. Too short. <laughs> Let's see. What happens if I say Tegan? It'll say, like... Oh. Maybe that was a different game. Oh, it was, I, th I thought you couldn't have more than one Tegan. Well, that'll be kind of confusing. I might add, like, a number just so I can tell the difference when I see the, you know, the skull, the, the, the body parts or whatever. <laughs> That's okay. It was, um... It was, like, Valhalla that would say, Oh, wait, Tegan's already dead. You are... It would sign you a new name. You're this character. But no, that's not... This game... Well, I kind of liked adding... Doing separate names for each character. Until I've actually recovered the bones of the previous one. Uh, it's somewhat difficult to wield the sword. Anyways, my last character got taken out by a torso hit. So it's kind of nice I got this iron chain mail. And this character looks like he has better default stats. So yeah. You know, bad luck happens. Bad luck happens early on. That's no big deal. Two broken boots a-kicking. Hmm. Should we worship evil? That would be an inter interesting thing to do. I'm gonna wait to make my decision for now. An Amul Tooth Dagger. I'm gonna switch to that sucker. <laughs> an Amul's Tooth is just as good. An Amul's Tooth Dagger is just as good as a Bronze Longsword is. <laughs> but is extremely accurate. This thing is... this thing. Yes. Yes. Early game accuracy is nice. And a ring of polymorph. It's fun. Hardened leather belt. Holy Book of Silva! Hmm. So I could also go neutral. Yeah, I think... I think that was... Accuracy was my issue. A wand of mirroring. Nice. 
You feel very ill. Your left arm drops to the ground. <laughs> Damn it, I've got leprosy. I've got goddamn leprosy from the goddamn... All right, I'm going to pick this back up. <laughs> the severed human arm of Tegan has been picked up. All right. <laughs> See you in a second, Big Dipper. Or, yeah, Big... Yeah, Big Dipper. Thanks for dropping by. Huh. Uh, I wonder if Silva will give me a new limb if I read her book and like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read Silva's book because I think Silva can give you some sweet limbs. I wish to pray to Silva. Yes! A new arm made of Amal hair! Holy shit! It's Amal hair! It's the same thing the dagger's made out of! It's got 35 strength and 31 text. Thank you, Silva! All right. I've got a kick-ass new arm. I just gotta not die. I've got a kick-ass arm. We've got a kick-ass arm. <laughs> the, your television caught fire. All right, wait, wait, wait. It's my left arm. My left arm. All right, put that dagger in my left arm and let's just destroy things. <laughs> oh my god, I've got a kick-ass arm. All right, we well, we got it. I still got to cure my leprosy, or I'm gonna start losing other body parts. That is a. I can't get this character killed. Okay, doctor, 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 doctor. Where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? Where was the doctor? I need to find the doctor. I'm burdened. Who was the doctor? Was the doctor? I gotta pay the doctor to cure my leprosy or more. Leprosy is something you get occasionally from zombies. It doesn't happen very often. What it does, it's a real pain. Where was the doctor? Where was the doctor? That was the sumo wrestler place. The doctor. Oh, there she is. Doctor, doctor. It seems to have contracted the vile disease of leprosy. I can give you a small dose of medicine. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hey, that was that was something. All right. Well, <laughs> here is the severed left arm of Tegan the human. <laughs> what would you like to wield in your right hand? The severed left arm of Tegan. Oh, you can't you can't wield this with one hand. It requires 90 strength. 90 strength. That's a lot of strength to wield the lever, uh, severed arm with one hand. I think I could wield my other arm with my one arm with the other. I don't know. Well, actually, that is a lot of weight. <laughs> well, maybe not the right arm. I could the left arm. The right arm could wield the left arm, but not the other way around. <laughs> All right, and certainly that's well. Uh, now it's the other way around though, because of Amal hair. Anyways, <laughs> the point is, my leprosy is cured. I've got a kick-ass arm. I've got a nice thing on my torso. Right, that's what I was burdened with. Like, what, what am I burdened with? Uh, yeah, the... Your other arm. <laughs> I like that arm. It, you know, it was a gift for my parents. <laughs> it was a good arm. Alright, we'll wear the hardened leather belt. Don't want to wear the ring of polymorph. That's no fun. Yeah, I just destroy things now. When I stab things, they die. Nice, some mushrooms. Enchant weapon. Okay, yeah, you remember how you died last time? In a web. You gotta be real careful with these webs. I'm gonna kill you, spiders. I'm tired of your webs. Your nonsense. All right, gonna play it real cool. Uh, cheap 4K TV. Uh, <laughs> no, that's all right. Hey, I'm not not really in the market for a television, but uh, yeah. Sorry to hear about your television issues. Yeah, we got a couple. We got a couple extra televisions, quite frankly. Um, I mean, they're CRTs. The only flat screen I have is, for flat screen TV, is like a, kind of a cheap one. But, still, it's nice. Yeah, we've, we've got enough on the tel in the television department, but, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to hear that you're television shopping. Okay, a chameleon can be kind of dangerous. Ah, uh, it turned into a gibberling, and now it's dead. Okay. 
A little bit worried about that sucker. Iron helmet. Yes, please. That'll save me from head death. All right, so we got our, 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 our key components protected. Head. Right. There was... There was one issue. Uh, CRT 4K at uh, 144 frames per second. That does seem nice, I gotta say. <laughs> oh, it is a CRT, yeah. Cool. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I, I hear the, the, the CRTs have less delay, you know, with inputs and stuff. So they're kind of good for gaming, at least. Uh, anywho, if, if my arm, if my Amal hair arm here, <laughs> all right, now I'm at level six with my Amal tooth dagger, level three with small swords, I just chopped that kobold's arms off, I'm just, my stats are insane, with 35 strength and 31 dexterity and an Amal's hair, Amal hair dagger, or I mean Amal tooth dagger, it's, that's just a nuts, that's an insane, that's an insane starting package, the... The enemies of this area are not ready for this. <laughs> I just disassembled that skeleton with just such ease and... Oh, it's just, it is a lot of fun. I gotta say, that's a lot of fun just to see them die with this intense power that Silva's just given me there. But if, if my Amal hair armor, if my arm here, if it gets damaged, or I should say my left arm is my left arm for my character. If it gets damaged, then I have to go to the uh, tailor to repair it. I, um, it doesn't heal. <laughs> my arm doesn't heal like other, like other body parts. It's made out of a material. But, because it's made of a material like that, um, it's very unlikely to get hurt. Because it has, like, damage resistance. Unlike, uh, unlike flesh, so. There's, it's definitely, I think, I, I, I definitely think I'm in a pretty good situation here. Still, I might not, my, I, I wouldn't mind getting a bit of armor for it. Just because it would be a real shame to lose this awesome limb. Yeah, I just destroyed that jackal. Hello, Mr. Jackal. Stab. <laughs> Dead. Dead. <laughs> As the meme goes. With that, uh... That, uh... The heavy. Alright, I can burden myself with a chest. It is locked. We'll need to unlock this sucker. The lock shatters to pieces. I kind of want to enchant my dagger here. With a scroll of enchant weapon. But I've got a wand of mirroring. And with a wand of mirroring, what you can do... Oh, the potential with a wand of mirroring and some scrolls. Yeah, let's, let's save it. Gauntlets of dexterity plus one. Yes, please. A leather cloak. Sure. I'll take it all. And I will put... Put in this... The wand of mirroring. But basically what I can do is I can take this Wand of Mirroring. Wand of Mirroring tapes, makes temporary mi mirror images of things. So if I like, zap myself or zap an enemy, there'll be a temporary clone, but eventually it goes away. But you can make mirror images of scrolls. So I can take a pile of scrolls and mirror them. And the advantages of that, besides like having a Wand of Cloning, is that uh, while they're not permanent, the Wands of Mirroring tend to have more charges. So it's like if you get a really sweet Wand of Mirroring and scrolls of charging, you can start enchanting your equipment like crazy. So this, basically, this is the start of a potentially beautiful run. If I just play my cards right. I'm, I'm getting a good feeling about this today. Of course, I say that every time and then I die. So, <laughs> dungeon. What about the dungeon? All right, so I've also got a wand teleportation. I'm holding, I'm hauling around a holy book, which maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Oh yeah, somebody's forgetting their cloak. Okay, so yeah, I got my essential bits covered. A whip of thievery. Plus one. How did that work? I'm guessing it stole things from people. Guess I might as well wield that in my other hand. Hmm. That could be quite beneficial. You whip, like, the weapon out of the person's hand. Huh. A whip of thievery. Three to seven. Extremely accurate. Three to seven. That's better than the, uh... That's better than the dagger. Hmm. Let's swap. Let's swap hands. 
Hmm. Looks like it's made out of nymph hair. Well, that... This is an interesting setup. Knife Whip. What happened to the title of Spear Sword? No, now it's Knife Whip. Knife Whip will lead to victory. <laughs> I'll be, like, stealing people's weapons before they can even whip me. Alright. Ow. Ow, Bear Trap. Ow. Bear Trap. Don't have any boots, Bear Trap. <laughs> well, if I just lose another limb, that just I can just pray to Silva again, right? I'm not sure if Silva's waiting. You advance... You advance level 7 with your armal tooth dagger. Okay. Or wait, which hand do I have? Which, which hand? Yeah. Yeah, left hand whip. Good. That's all I like to see. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta... I gotta get... I gotta find a shrine to Silva and pray to her. So I can get... I think Silva, the nature god, offers the best... Some of the best limbs around. If you're looking for limb replacements, that's the god to go to. Whereas, like, some of the, um... The evil gods might replace it with, like, uh... I don't know, like, undead flesh or something like that. <laughs> Have a zombie flesh arm. It's like, mmm, that's, uh... That's like my old one, but worse. I know. How do you like it? Mmm. How about eyeball? How about floating eyeball flesh? <laughs> why Why do my, uh... <laughs> this, is, this is gonna remind me of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It's like floating eye flesh. Why, why do my knees want to tear up? <laughs> why does my... Why, why do I have, um... It's not sweaty palms. Why do I... Why my my palms want to tear up a bit here? <laughs> Wait, yeah, the door's locked. Kick. Wait, hang on. This could be an explosive door. Okay, set these down. I do realize I'm going around burden, but I'm trying to train my legs, get more leg strength. It's leg day here, bro. The, if you if you walk around burdened, you will eat more food, but you'll train your legs. So it's kind of a trade-off. Broken Mithril Axe. I think I like my stuff better. Accuracy is paramount right now. Ooh, this extra lump of banana flesh I've been carrying around has gone rotten. That's all right. Right, so it was, uh... Right, the Quick Explorer. I forgot about the Quick Explorer command. Right, floating eyeballs. They're a jerk. There's a couple ways you can deal with a floating eyeball. One is to set down your lantern. And then walk into the... Come with me into the darkness. <laughs> you sense the death of something. There we go. See, the floating eyeball only can affect you if you're looking at it. <laughs> so if you fight him in the darkness... <laughs> uh, then, um... Then you're cool. <laughs> you can't see what you're fighting. And if you eat a floating eyeball, it tastes delicious and gives you extra sensory perception. ESP. And ESPN. ESP and ESPN. For the sports fans. And, uh, so... That way... You can see invisible things that... The... The... You sense great danger! The chameleon gl grows... Uh, glows in a crimson light and transfor transforms into an amal tooth golem! That is an extremely scary golem. I should know. My arms are made of amal hair and my weapons made of amal tooth and they both kick ass. So that is a kick, it turned into a kick-ass golem, I gotta flee until it's a, until that chameleon turns back into something reasonable. Let's be reasonable, game! Good god, an Hobbletooth golem. I, those, those chameleons are kind of BS. Alright, let's keep going up. I'll come back to that floor later. My legs feel stronger, yes. Ow. <laughs> a bear trap, my legs feel weaker. No. <laughs> I, I thought they just felt stronger a second ago. Alright. Until a chunk was taken out of them. My legs are stronger. Ah! <laughs> there goes the muscle. Another active bear trap. Damn it, there's a lot of bear traps these days. Alright, hang on. I'll be back again. Heal up. Come back. Alright, we gotta kill the mother plant. There's gonna be some mutant plants popping up here. I'll probably want to set down my chest temporarily. Let's set down my chest temporarily, because, uh... We don't want to be burdened for this fight. Being burdened for this fight can get you killed. So, the more intelligence I have, the more extra ses uh, sensory perception 
distance I'll have as well. So if you notice I was seeing enemies through the walls, there's some landmines in this room. They're not active landmines, but that doesn't uh, make me feel that much better. They can still go off in the right situations. Or wrong situations. Depending on your interpretation of the usage of that. Depending on your intention. <laughs> Depending on your your benevolent or malevolent intention. Damn it, there's a lot of mines here. A big mine. That's a big one. This is freaking the crap out of me. Another mine. <laughs> I mean, just it just takes, like, one good explosion to set all this off. Electricity resistance. Might as well slip that on, just in case a hottie fattener comes around. <laughs> hottie fattener? Hottie fattener. I think it's something like that. Equipment broken. It bit through my... It bit through my groin defender. <laughs> my legs feel very agile. Nice. <laughs> my groin defender. You mean your belt? Yes. I called it the Groin Defender 2000 because I like my groin. I can rip through these webs a lot. Yeah, with 35 strength, my 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 uh, amul hair got, uh, arm can just rip through those webs like nothing. It's like shh, shh. I've caught in a web. Damn it! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I just rip it off every time. Yep. That's cool. Just because of the sheer strength. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die due to a web choking on a web this time. I might I might have groin death, but. Uh, that's different. Alright, um... Hmm. I could just teleport it off of its location to get through. Then I could use it for training. Huh, using the giant thing for training. That seems kind of dangerous. Just kill the thing. Should I use the wand to slow on the sucker? No, I don't need the wand to slow. I've got a super arm. Okay, I was taking a little bit of a risk there, though. Yeah, this super arm, I just, I just rocked that thing. The game doesn't expect me to be anywhere near this powerful. But sometimes that giant plant... <laughs> 36, 37 strength is better, that's true. Uh, sometimes that giant plant can give you a good critical hit, and it's uh, game over. So I wanted... I wasn't sure if I should be extra careful. Alright. Snack on the pineapples until you're stuffed with pineapple goodness. Pineapple goodness. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's clear the rest of this floor and move on to the next area. Congratulations, we defeat the, defeated the first boss. Maybe I can get my gear back. Right, got gauntlets of dexterity. Got to keep those. Chest with a triangular lock. There was another lock back, or, yeah. There was another chest back there I didn't fully... A wand of charging, an enchant weapon? Nice! A holy book of malice. Right, it looks like I'm going with the neutral gods today. Okay, we'll slowly slip our way to evil. <laughs> We're slowly sl slipping our way into darkness. First I was doing the lawful gods, now I'm going to do the neutral gods. Next time we'll do the evil gods. Because, I mean, uh, Silva gave me a new limb, so... Yeah, we gotta... Melis is the, uh, the god of greed and money. And merchants. Broken adamantite short sword. That seems pretty good, I gotta admit. Might grab that in a second. Hmm. Alright, I got one empty can. I do want to fill up my cans full of the liquids. I'm a bit burdened. Two to four highly accurate. I think when it's repaired it'll be better, obviously. Uh, yeah. About six? Yeah. And, uh, what am I doing next time? I'm not 100% certain yet. I'm still trying to figure that one out. But, uh, I was thinking about finishing up, or going back to that, uh, Dragon, Dragon Valor. So, we might do that. But yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't, uh, worked it out entirely yet. Or potentially even just... I've been playing that RimWorld so much that, uh... Well, it's tempting not to just go straight to that, but we'll be playing RimWorld later tonight. Yes, or Mountain Blade with fans, yes. That'd be a thing to do, too. But, uh... 
yeah, I kind of wanted to make more progress on that Dragon Valor game, so I was, I was thinking about going back to that one. Probably that one, yeah. Just because I don't have a net, uh, an exact time. Either that or the robot game, Robot Pit 2. Actually, Robot Pit 2 would be a lot, fu lot of fun, too. One of those two games. The Robot Pit or the Dragon Valor. Most likely. But yeah, I didn't open up this chest, did I? With a round lock. I neg neglected that chest. I want to go back for that chest real quick. Alright. Hoof it. Go. Ah, and this room's kind of filled up with mushrooms here. That's kind of fun. Don't have to worry about them too much. Kick. The lock shatters to pieces. Okay, open. Chest. Take. Wand of Acid Rain. Cool. That works. Ah, I'm temporarily levitating. Nice, and my arm gained a bit of strength. 36, uh, so 36 strength is better, I would say. And now we have it. My kicks have no effort, uh, no, fe no effect on the, of the wall. Yes. Um, I just pro play random games. Not, not exactly. No. Uh, there are, um, there are like series. Wait, Steam devs are threatening a lawsuit against Steam, huh? But no. Uh, basically, I, I try to. I have a couple games that I'm making progress in that I try to, like, complete. So it's like, um, you know, I and the weekends are usually the time. These are usually the times I play like PlayStation games. So it's like I don't really have. I guess I kind of play random games on like like Mondays, Mondays, Mondays. It was like Wednesdays and Fridays. Do I play Steam games? Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Steam games, like uh, well, like RimWorld for example. And a lot of the others. Alright. Okay, you'll be... You'll be gone for eight minutes or something like that to watch this? <laughs> Fair enough. Or gone for eight minutes to watch... Oh, the, the Steam Devs thing. You need to take a look at that. I wasn't sure what you meant. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so... Yeah, I just, uh... Oh, the magpie steals my wand of teleportation. No, uh, it's, uh... That's annoying. Get back here, you. Alright, giant frickin' magpie. I'll eat you. Alright, let's get out of here. That chieftain is missing a leg. Ah, oh, we didn't explore that. Ooh, a scroll repair. This little, this little niche. Okay, what am I? Right, I probably should put these scrolls in the in the in the thing too. All right. All right, I left my chest back there. I I don't. I'm burdened without my chest. There's my chest. All right, apply the chest. Put a few things in. Oh, my kiwis. I have a few remaining kiwis and they're going bad. How bad are they? Oh, they're real bad. Those are real bad kiwis. Okay, well... Yeah, my carriage is going to be get, getting a bit hungry on this journey, but... How far do we have to travel? Hopefully it's not going to make us go too far. Ah, good. Okay. Gonna go ahead and eat some cans here. Sated. Okay, we're we're okay. Oh, I was a little bit worried that uh, food would be more of an issue on the journey than than usual. <laughs> Kiwi fruits are tasty and healthy. That's true, but those ones had gone completely off. <laughs> they were nuts. Torn cloak of invisibility. That's different. I'm used to there being fire resistance there. And a ring of intel, a uh, ring of teleportation. Huh, a clone torque of, uh, torque, uh, a clone, uh, a torn cloak of invisibility. That could be useful, actually. 
455 pieces. Okay. Well, I can't afford that one, but uh, eventually. We know the extreme use, useful, uh, the extreme usefulness of tele uh, or invisibility and teleportation. All right, so blah blah blah. Your new mission is out. Don't don't attack that. Your new mission is out there in the 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 mines. Fix my belt. Oh right, you only fix items made of metal, right? Wrong dude. Fix my belt. Eleven gold pieces. You've got a deal. Yeah, get out of the way. Out of the way, peasant. <laughs> Just use the auto move to get over here. Okay, I've got two empty cans and a bottle full of healing li liquid. Dip. Can. Healing li liquid. Dip. Can. Healing liquid. There we go. How much do you want for this empty bottle? <laughs> I wouldn't take that even if you paid me for it. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> ah, you just turned on notifications? Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for joining the notification squad, as they say. I kind of want to hold on to these objects. 68 for that. What about the broken sword? 165 for the broken sword. Adamantine. I'm going to hold on to both of these objects. All right, so the dungeon's up there. Yeah, we're doing okay for food. All right, I gotta be real careful now. All right, yeah, apply. Put charging, repair, and chain weapon in here. Chest with a tr triangle lock. Yeah, uh, uh, I probably should at least have one wand. Take the wand of teleportation out. Oh, what? There's a scythe in there? I've been carrying around a scythe? I've been carrying around a scythe, apparently. Well, uh, strength training. <laughs> ha. And, you, um, and you've subscribed. That's good. Glad to hear it. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, let's set down the chest for now. Is there a mine here? Is there a mine here? <laughs> it's time to play that good old game. Is there a mine here? Good to see you are again, RKS King. Is there a landmine here? Is there a landmine here? <laughs> I don't want my wand teleportation to get set off suddenly. Broken mithril battle axe. That does sound quite nice. I could certainly sell that. There's a landmine! <laughs> we have succeeded in the game! <laughs> we, we just won. We just won that classic game. Is there a landmine here? It's a puppy! But it's not. it's not my puppy. It's a hostile puppy. And apparently it needs to die. My arm feels dexterous when stabbing the puppy. That's kind of awkward. My legs feel agile. From running around and stabbing puppies. I ought to, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Can't I tame the puppy? Alright, triangular lock. An Arcanite wand of wondrous smells. <laughs> that one's that weapon's not the best weapon. Kind of fun. It's kind of a fun weapon, but not not practical. <laughs> yes, you try your best, but you don't succeed. Exactly. Uh, nymph hair sometimes. <laughs> All right, so. I don't think having two items of fire resistance helps, but I'll be able to wear the cloak and then not... Like, I'll, I usually get more rings than cloaks, so I'll be able to swap out my fire resistance ring of the future. Oh, wait, did the... Yeah, the lock isn't shattering. Break that lock, you bastard. Kick, 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 kick. <laughs> that lock is tough. Oh, no. it or Oh, there's nothing in it. <laughs> it wasn't locked. It wasn't locked, it was empty. <laughs> and I'm just kicking it like crazy. <laughs> that guy is kicking that chest for no reason. I thought it had a really tough, uh... I just stepped in a bear trap. And I got a pineapple. One of these is good, one of these is bad. Turns out you're allergic to pineapple. <laughs> and I love bear traps. Wait, no. It's not right. <laughs> is there a trap here? 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 Is there a landmine here? 
Is there a landmine here? Landmine here, 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 here. <laughs> Just keep hitting that search key. I feel like there should be like an auto search command. Damn near, because I have one paranoid dude until I get my perception. Ah, there was a there was a landmine there. <laughs> I guess we don't have to worry about a landmine right now, because uh Well, thank you for discovering that for me. <laughs> Meteoric two-handed steel scimitar. That sounds delightful. How does that compare to my stuff? It does five to ten inaccurates. It's inaccurate, but very strong. Strikes like a meteor it does. Alright, so, uh... I'm gonna pass on that. Because I think my whip of thievery and my... My knife are far superior. Wand of invisibility. That's useful right now. Steel plate mail. 30,000 grams of armor. That's, uh... That's... That's, that's, that's heavy. Versus mine, 16,000. But you're not gonna get killed in the torso. Let's see. This is reducing my dexterity and agility down to 14 and 36. If I wear this, it's gonna be, again, 14 and 36. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with it. Steel frickin' plate mail. Clunk, clunk, clunk. I'm probably gonna lose my legs, but I'm not gonna lose my torso. Oh, that was a giant mushroom. I didn't want to kill the giant mushroom. The giant mushroom could have, uh, could have been my friend. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> um, so there's a altar to an evil god that I don't want to worship right now. A sapphire stone. That's worth cash. I'll take that. Alright, so let's get some expensive things. And let's try to... Yeah, let's try to sell this this gear. I'm gonna sell this stuff, and uh, we're gonna get a bunch of cash. Let's see. Let's try to take everything I can take. Ooh, I killed a puppy. Now I'm gonna eat the puppy, because I'm a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> um, we're gonna take the mithril battle axe. Broken. Probably not gonna use that sucker. The adamantine sword. I'll take the iron scythe. Alright. We'll sell these things. I had to eat the puppy. <laughs> I didn't have to, but, uh... Well, I might... I needed I needed the food. It was... It was ex I, well, I didn't need to eat the puppy, but it was very... It was extremely useful to do so. I don't feel good about it. Alright. Sell this. ka -ching. Sell that. 375. Nice. Warhammer. Nine. Wondrous Smells, 264. Nice. Mithril Battle Axe, 68. Scythe, 22. Silverstone, 57. And Sapphire, 132. I have a thousand gold. Nice. Alright, so let's buy out the uh, scroll shop here. Let's see. Or everything I like. Scroll repair. You don't have good stuff today. Enchant weapon. Yes, please. Ching. What else? Teleportation. Repair taming. Teleportation repair. Damn it, you don't have charging. Nice. Nice. I'll take that. Another enchant weapon. Good. All right. Well, you didn't have many enchant scrolls. That's that's an issue. <laughs> yes, rest in peace, the dog. I would say so. Well, we got some nice scrolls. How many scrolls could I duplicate with my wand? And could I duplicate a, a scroll of charging with a wand of mirroring? Or does that not work? Because that seems kind of meta. Scroll of charging. Wait, where's my wand of mirroring? What happened to my wand of mirroring? Didn't I have a wand of mirroring? Did I lose it? Wait. Let's put all those scrolls in there. No, don't pray. Open. Take. Slow acid rain. I put 
Did I sell the wand of mirroring? Where did I put the wand of mirroring? Because that's very... I swear... Or no, that was my previous life. That was the other guy who died. That was the other guy who died. Right, who had the wand of mirroring? Or no, did I? Oh, now I'm getting confused. I don't think I had a wand of mirroring, did I? That was the other guy. Or did I leave it? God, I'm all confused now. Oh, well, the point is right now I don't have a wand of mirroring, so... Oh. Hey there, buddy. Set down my lantern. Hack you to pieces. Eat the floating eye. Let's continue. Huh, I'm disappointed. I... I put the wand of mirroring where I put the hand? I left my hand in the other dungeon. I was hoping I put it in this chest. But apparently that was... Okay, I'll have to go... Yeah, I'll have to go back to the other dungeon. I'll have to get some food then. I'll have to, I'll have to prepare myself. Like... Uh, puppy killer. Just such a puppy killer. Alright. Why... Why... Why do I have to kill so many puppies? Ow. Okay. Lock shatters to pieces. Why must you make me do this? Alright, yeah, uh... Uh, yeah, it's just... Alright, it's, it's a bit of a long distance, but... Yeah. Oh, it's the SCP joke. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were actually serious. I think, I think that might have been my other life. Because I played three characters recently, and now... I think I'm getting confused, but yeah, I put it where I put the hands. In that other video. Because <laughs> that was, that was annoying. That was rather annoying. Rather unfortunate. Broken meteoric steel helmets. Yes, please, I'll take that. We'll get that sucker repaired. Unless you get a helmet of understanding plus one that's broken, and then I'll just repair that instead. A beef golem. Beefcake! I'll eat that sucker. Beefcake! <laughs> Ow! My groin! He, the, the skunk just bit my groin so badly. And I'm stinky. Not only did I get skunked, but my groin stinks more than usual. Alright. Maybe it's not a good idea to be munching on rats. I'm not sure. I mean, if, if you don't enjoy leprosy or something. My groin! Not my groin! Feast on other bits, but not my groin. <laughs> Beefcake! Yes. Oh. I, that's, that's, a, that's what I imagine the, uh, the beef golem shouting at me. <laughs> Beefcake! As it attacks. <laughs> oh, that's his name. That's the pet name for the golem. Alright. Reach five for a book of habitus. 57 for a silver stone. Repair this helmet of understanding, please. Oh, you only fix items made of metal. Oh, it's not metal. But it's not... I can't work on unicorn horn. Oh, it's unicorn horn, is it? Okay. Well. Hi there, Anil. Good to see you. Uh, yes. Welcome. I need to have a lot of subscribers? Sure. Yes. Yeah, I did. I, I saw that you watched some of my older videos as well, that you made a few comments. Yeah, thank you for that, my friend. Alright, do you have a scroll of repair? Because I'm going to need a magical repair. For my helmet. Yes. Oh, don't touch that beggar. It's worth 227 gold pieces. I've got 220 gold pieces. We need 227 gold pieces. 
Just seven more. I could sell my ring of polymorph, but I don't want to do that. All right, I wandered back. I'm wandering back here because I'm wandering because I'm wondering. Did I leave a wand back here? Iron gauntlets plus one. I could sell those suckers. Could sell some landmines. I don't feel confident carrying around landmines. Amal hair gauntlets, they don't they don't weigh much. I can sell those. But yeah, I don't I don't think I did. Unless I for some reason I mistakenly put it in here. I don't think there was a one No, I did put it in there! I did put it in that chest. It was that chest. I got confused. Yeah. I did have a wand of mirroring. Because there was another small chest. I got confused. Somebody got confused. Alright, well let's take it. Sweet! Sweet! Alright, yes. Apply. Put you know, put put those back in the chest. I, I put them, I took them out, but we can do some mirroring and we can get, like, super powerful. This is gonna be good. This is, I can see, I can see a bright future in which I just wreck shop. Hmm, should I go back and mess with the mushrooms that I messed with before? No, there's no reason to do that. Alright, let's go. Limestone, golem. Get off of me. Ow. That hurt a bit. I'll eat a bat. Don't eat a, uh... Don't eat a... Don't eat a snake. That's not healthy. Alright. Yes, no one wants to carry around a dog's landmines. That's for sure. That's, uh... It's scary and... And demeaning. Alright. Copper helmet. Three, three gold pieces for a copper helmet. 18 for an axe. Let's see. 25 for the gauntlets. 8 for the Amal hair gauntlets. But they're Amal hair! I mean, they're like, uh... Yes. Thumbs up the video? <laughs> Indeed. Thank you for that. That uh, would be a nice thing to do. Alright. So, now we have enough for the repair scroll. Which I can pick up now. Ching. Repair the helmet of understanding. Wear that sucker. And now my helmet is now 16 armor. I've got 16 armor on my head. 12 armor value. Plus another two, so 14 for my chest. Uh, my groin has one. My groin has one armor value, and I've got no no boots. So, I mean, my groin and my legs... My, my lower half is a bit vulnerable there, I gotta say. But the important bits. The important bits are covered. Hmm. A little bit worried about that uh, analysis of my armor, but... I like I like the, the heavy-duty armor and the important bits. That's <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, I could have sold that helmet, but that's okay. Alright. So. Let's take all these scrolls. I did have an extra scroll repair, but I think I want to keep hold of that. And, uh, yeah, let's... Hmm. I've got three scrolls of enchant weapon, two scrolls of charging. I need, like, one... I think you can do five at a time. If I want to be completely optimal. But I can just mirror a mirror, right? Then I'll be doing nothing but enchant weapon. No enchant armor. Well, maybe just a little bit right now. Yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> My shirt is a beautiful Turkish style. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Alright. Take. Wait, open. Apply. Right, apply. Take. My one last enchant weapon. So, four. Can I mirror a scroll of charging? That's the real question. I don't think the game allows that. 
Let's find out. Okay, so you lay them all down in a line. We'll put scroll charging here. I think it's five squares. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And just in case there's something funny that goes on. I'll put like, I'll put two here. Okay, sure. Now, um, yeah, it's like I could wait until I get one more scroll, but I think I'm going to do one zap. No, don't drop the sucker. All right. Wand of mirroring. Zap. So there's two here. One here. Oh! Oh, it does five on one square. Damn. It does five on one square. It doesn't, it doesn't do a row. It does a one stack. Okay, well we know this is the, the, the cloned one. I just screwed up though. Alright, enchant the whip of thievery. Okay, so it does it in a stack. So drop that. Drop one scroll of charging. Zap. Yeah, it does not clone the scroll of charging. Okay. So yeah, I just I just sadly wasted the potential of creating four enchant weapons. But that's okay. These are the mirrors, right? The second row, I'm pretty sure. Oh. You fail to enchant it further. You can't go beyond five. Okay. Probably because my intelligence. Okay. Now, hopefully I didn't get confused, because otherwise these will disappear, because they're mirror images, but... That's the danger of doing things, like the way I'm doing them. But I wanted to enchant my weapon. It's like, do you enchant your equipment now or later? I want to do a little bit of enchanting now, and then, like, a little bit later. If that makes sense. Because otherwise, if I just die, it's like a waste. Like a big, fat waste. So, yeah. Cool. Alright. I guess let's move forward, since I've done a little bit of enchanting. Not too much, but uh, I feel like the right amount. Alright, and this is open. Or this is empty. I need... Wait, I'm carrying teleportation and invisibility. Take as well. Alright, open. Take. Take the slow. But I'm actually going to put... I'm going to put the slow in the chest for now. We can use teleportation and invisibility when we're in a dangerous situation, and then for boss fights, you use the slow. Okay. Beefcake! Beefcake! <laughs> beef loaf. Or beefalo. Beefalo, beefalo. <laughs> One way or another. Alright, going around burdened. Getting my strength training on. The big skunk seems to be hostile. The big skunk seems to be dead, but it did gas me again. Oh, I'm all stanky. I'm probably going to vomit too, aren't I? <laughs> oh, okay. Two iron boots. Let's wear those. Alright, now all my limbs are protected. Ah, good night, RKS King. 1987. Good to see you. See you next time. A golden stone. A pineapple. Pineapple pen. <laughs> I have a pen. I have pineapple. Alright. <laughs> not not that again. <laughs> ah, now we have found the the, the thing of Enfuscor, who has multiple wands of striking. Wands of striking are very dangerous to carry around, but very powerful. I will keep them in the chest. The books, on the other hand, we'll just leave those for now. Okay, Gloomy Cave level 2. Is there a bomb here? Mine here? Is there a mine here? Fur. Fur golem. It's a furry. Ah, it's day for you, Big Dipper. <laughs> it's, uh, 
That was a bad joke about the fur golem. I'm, I apologize to fur golems everywhere for that joke. All right. We would like to apologize on behalf of on behalf of the censors. Yes, uh, I'm just joking, of course. Banana flesh. Eat these bananas. Banana peels can be used as, uh, <laughs> yes, can be used as, uh, traps, as mines. Enchant armor. Nice. Now we're talking. And a scroll repair. One scroll of enchant armor. I want, I want a few more of these suckers. An empty can. Dip. Troll blood. I need one more can. And let's uh, activate and put these scrolls in there. Hey there, Dark Knight. Good to see you. Welcome. Another can of banana flesh. Yeah, let's eat uh, eat one of these cans so I can fill up fill up the other bottle of troll blood. There we go. Okay, so we got four healing potions ready to go. There's a dark frog. I want to kill him. All right, the dark frog is slain. Flaming steel sword. Three kiwis. And I'll gnaw on a wolf. It's a good thing that uh, eating a wolf doesn't turn you into a werewolf or nothing. Ah, holy book of silver. Nice. Oh, it disappears in one read. That wasn't very lucky. Come on, Silva. The door won't budge. The door is locked. Alright, let's set down our wands, because that bad things could happen otherwise. Put. Yeah, there we go. Okay, kick. Because this door could explode. Okay. You gotta be careful when kicking in doors. Sometimes they're rigged with booby traps. Or just boobies. There could be boobies. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean... That's, again... <laughs> Yes. Tagan? That's, that, I guess that's a way of saying it. Yes, thank you for saying I look handsome today. I appreciate that. Was that a banana? A banana peel golem! <laughs> okay. He was made out of banana peels. This game has a weird banana. Weird thing about bananas. Trap found. Oh, while you were eating, you found a bear, bear trap right, right next to you. Hmm. That's a bit concerning. Get out of my groin! Not my groin! Ow, my groin! Ow! Ow, okay. Rest. I feel tougher than ever. I was poisoned. That giant spider poisoned me. In fact, maybe I should have... Your Amal Tooth Dagger spoils. It's spoiled! Because it's... Because mm, it's a natural thing. I forgot the Amal Tooth Dagger is like that. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't enchant the dagger any. <laughs> you will turn into Spider-Man. Alright, I need a new weapon in my other hand. Because there's flies. There's flies, yes, if you get bitten by the spider. There's flies collecting around my hand because of, uh, of my spoiling dagger. It's rotten. A rotten normal tooth. All right. Let's get a new weapon then. See a long sword. Stick of fur. Ow! What just happened? Something. Something just hit me. Something just hit me in the head hard. You slash something. Oh, it was in the other direction. Okay, run. I don't know what that is, but it could have been the Amal Hair Golem. Owie. Owie, my head. I don't like it when it's just something. That was scary. I need a new weapon. What will be my new weapon? I was hoping to get something nice. Like, you know, one of those artifacts like the Turox or the... Or the... Verminous or something, but... Let's see, what do we got? 
Iron Maze. Copper Short Sword. Ring of Teleportation, that's nice. Two Iron Boots of Kicking. Yeah, give me that back, you. See, my, I'm currently wearing Iron Boots, so I guess... Guys, so I might as well take the Iron Boots of Kicking. Get those repaired. I can kick people really hard. Maybe I'll just turn into the kicker. <laughs> Calcite Golem seems to be hostile. Oh, I can hardly see him because he looks like the floor. Alright. Right, of course. The Adamantine Short Sword. Of course that's what I'm going to be using. That'll be my new weapon. Okay. Just need to get some items that are worth some cash. Like, I've got the stone. I'll sell the helmet. Alright, let's make a quick trip back to civilization again. Alright, so. Iron helmet, 19 gold. Copper short sword, 8. Uh, golden stone, 110. Now we're talking. Okay. Now... Let's start with the short sword. It'll cost 103. Done. Now how about the boots? 30. 30 per boot? 30 per boot. Nice. Okay. Yes. Yes, Vladimir. Uh, Vrivia. What about it? Or what, what's that? Boots of kicking. Put those suckers on. Okay, now I can now I can really kick ass with, with my boots a kicking. All right, so yeah, adamantine short sword seems this seems like a pretty good thing. Magic potatoes, <laughs> yes, that'd be nice. A few of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did read. Oh, damn it. I did read the real ones. I got confused and I read the real ones. And left the mirror images. Oh, I did the worst thing possible. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. We'll have to get more scrolls then. I totally, I totally screwed that one up. Oh, well, we got one scroll of enchant armor. Yeah, it's, next time I'll, I gotta do things right. Oh, that sucks. Put those in there. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed in myself with that one. I thought it stacked them the other way around, but no, it doesn't. I got one scroll of enchant armor. I need to get I need to get a stack of five to use the mirroring properly. Hmm. Yeah, I could really beef up my armor later. Just leave that there for now. All right, well, that sort of thing's bound to happen from time to time. Doesn't make it feel any better. All right, take the acid rain with me. Okay, put it in my travel chest. All right, we're burdened. Let's go. Just gotta be careful when I get in combat. Well, I guess there's not much I can do. Like, I well, is this enough to not be burdened? Nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be burdened in combat, but I've got nice armor, so. That, uh, I think that wor that works. I just got to get my legs stronger. I got to build up my leg muscles. Then that won't be an issue. Or get a belt of carrying, that'd be nice too. That'd be real nice. Fortunately, weapons aren't, ah, frickin' skunk. Giving me the skunk juice. Take that, you little bastard. A shrine to Silva! I, I like Silva a lot. Let's see. Is there a bronze short sword in here because you like that sort of thing? Silva is pleased with your gift. Praise to Silva. A belt of carrying, you say? Thank you, Silva. That is exactly what I want. That is exactly what I wanted for my birthday. 
Uh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> is there anything... Is there a reason why I'd not be, I wouldn't be okay? <laughs> ah. A silver appreciates your generous offer truly with the belt. But not the broken boots. These are broken. Yes, I wanna, I'll continue to worship Silva. You sense the death of something. I slash something. What about corpses? Can I offer corpses? I offer you this big skunk, Silva. The corpse of a big skunk is too important for you to sacrifice. <laughs> okay, if, if you say so. It's poisonous to eat. You feel very ill after eating a skunk. Um, yeah, whoa. Whoa. My head just got really messed up. <laughs> my head got so messed up that my brain... My, my brain just got... <laughs> Jeez. Don't eat a skunk! That really poisoned me! Oh, my, my, I almost, I almost died. No, don't quit. I was, it's like, I, and, and then I started to go unconscious so I couldn't drink my healing potion. It's like, oh crap, drink a healing potion. Oh wait, it's too late. <laughs> my, me it, it, me it messed up my memory. <laughs> yes, your brain exploded. Exactly. <laughs> well, at least I got more endurance now. I'm tougher. Somehow you don't manage to walk straight. <laughs> oh, I, I, apparently my brain isn't still completely recovered. Uh, whoa, get... Walking straight isn't completely easy sometimes. I mean, it's kind of hard to walk straight. It's like, uh... There's a lot of cats here. Ow, my head again! It critically, the cat, the large cat, critically bit me in the head. <laughs> My brain. All right, I'm just gonna run away a bit. You somehow don't manage to walk straight. Uh, okay. I don't want to get bit in the head and die. All right. I've got a really good helmet though. I'm okay. I don't need to. I don't need to drink a healing potion yet. Something bites me in my right arm. You sense the death of something. There's a lot, there's a lot of nonsense. Either there's an invisible opponent or there's just people I'm not seeing. Hi, glowing frickin' light green crystal golem. I just, I just want to be alone for a bit, if that's okay. Shut the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, there my, fa my head's feeling better. Okay. Now you're gonna die. Now you're all gonna die. Ow, okay. That guy's pretty good. Oh no! Oh man! It got my leg! Teleport myself. Bzz. Okay. It ripped my leg off! The golem ripped my leg off! I, I have minus one leg for me! Oh no! Okay, so I can always drink a, I can always drink a potion to get a leg back, but you know what? Hey, Silva! Could you give me a leg? Um, it's made of citrine. <laughs> Alright, so I got 44 leg strength. Nice. But... 7 agility. <laughs> it's, it's, it's made of stone. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Hang on. Uh. <laughs> but it's really strong. Alright, you got another fake... This fake body part number 2. <laughs> Thank you, Silva. Silva's like the god of awesome body parts. So, now I've got a stone leg. It's a citrine. You know, it's not the worst stone leg, but I could lose it if I'm not careful. Gotta get some armor for this. But 44 leg strength. Man, if I get that boots of kicking. Yeah, let's, uh, you know. Let's take this boot of kicking. And let's put it on the other leg. Let's try to kick something. Alright. I'm gonna kick you. Whack! Uh, Alright. Kill the knight. Alright, I want my boot back. Admittedly, my character's not... I'm not accustomed to my new sword yet, so... 
I feel like part of the reason I lost that fight was my character didn't know how to use his weapon. Because he was so used to that... Oh, it's a moose. So used to that, um, that knife. And now when using the short sword, it's like, ah, I don't know how to use this thing. And I got the crap kicked out of me. I'll take this normal iron boot and wear that for now. Good old-fashioned iron boot. Okay, so my legs are protected again. But, yeah, I really like, as far as gods go, Sylv is a really good one if you want to replace your body, body parts reliably. Because there are other gods that replace your body parts with nice stuff, but occasionally they'll give you garbage, like, um... Like, I don't know, one of the gods can give you, like, a paper. An arm made out of paper, and it's like... This thing's about to rip off already. <laughs> it has, like, one strength and one... Like, a bunch of agility, but, like, only one strength. Just, like, flap it in the wind. <laughs> when you try to attack someone. <laughs> pa oh, no, the paper cuts. <laughs> you can, like, you can... You're really fast, but then it's like, you take one hit. <laughs> My arm! <laughs> it's like, it was, it's kind of like a joke arm. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. I'm kind of glad that I, I got the good ones. Ow! My other leg! The buffalo's getting my other leg! Damn it! Ow. Alright, stop it, buffalo. The buffalo keeps throwing me off balance. Ow. Damn buffalo. Ow! Okay, I killed the buffalo, but my leg is... I'm also better ready to lose my other leg! Oh, crap, and it damaged my arm! That, I'm gonna have to get that repaired at the blacksmith. <laughs> Damn buffalo. He damaged my, my omel hair arm. It never heals. Or the tailor. I'll have to go to the tailor, actually. I'll have to get that arm tailored. Okay. <laughs> Severed leg of Tegan the human. <laughs> it looks laggy. Uh, it's not a laggy game. <laughs> it's just, uh... Oh, wait. Slightly rusted. It rusted because of all the blood. This game requires very little uh, processing power, so unless you're talking about the, um, the stream itself, then the stream itself might be laggy. Ah. Baklava and kebab. Yeah, that's that's some good stuff, that's for sure. Yeah. Or baklava. Ba not bak yeah, baklava. Yeah, the the um this coated in honey. That's the stuff that's coated in honey. That's good. I like baklava just because it has all those I like I I like anything with like lots of layers. Cause I like to separate the layers in my mouth and eat them like one at a time. Is that weird? Like I like to explore the textures of it. It's kinda weird. <laughs> But things with, like, foods with, like, if I eat, like, peas or any sort of thing, I'll, like, dissect them in my mouth before I eat them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is a little bit too much detail. But there's tons of layers, so you can just keep, you can keep doing that all day when you eat a piece of baklava. <laughs> ah, you do that too? That makes sense. Yeah. It's just, it's, uh, it's just the texture is interesting. Anyways, I can carry a ton now. I can carry everything. Yeah, baklava is a dessert, yes. Yeah, with lots of honey. It's, it's good stuff. All right, we can see that golem. Because he freaking glows. All right, round two. Got him. All right. Crystal stone. Nice. Now we got a nice, uh, light source. I no longer need to use the, uh, my stupid lantern. Nice. Even though carrying capacity isn't uh, that much of an issue anymore, it might be. <laughs> so I'm walking around with my stone leg. Drunk. Kachunk. Kachunk. Alright, the problem. Ah. It. Er. Iron? Or, uh. What about. <laughs> yes, it does. It, it is a. I do really like the stuff. I do like baklava. It's really good. Um, we've had. Uh, we had some. We had a very international bakery. Or wait, we had a bakery move in recently that uh, 
Had a lot of international food. Oh, ow. My leg. My not, my not stone leg. He bashed it. Ow. Anyways, what I was just saying was that having, having fake body parts, unfortunately, prevents you from growth. Yeah. Prevents me from growing. Like, in any way. Whereas, like, you know, normal arms... Ah, I run each team, and dr drink, and I run. I yeah, I don't know, I don't know that drink, but that sounds good. Yeah, I went to um. I've had some, I've had some interesting drinks, though. But I yeah, I don't know that one. So that, I I wouldn't mind uh, I wouldn't mind trying that. <laughs> All right. uh... Yeah, let's get back up and like, let's get repaired. I want to get myself repaired. What was that? Ah, oh, mutant bunny. Let's hack our way through the wall with a with a pickaxe. All right, just made the dungeon more convenient. My character's getting a little bit hungry. A dag two. Best war film. I have not heard of that one. Amal hair left arm. Two gold pieces. But, sounds good. I like a good war film. That's for sure. Yeah, the scary games in October? That would be a good idea. That would be a good idea as well. That's uh, very much the theme. Right, sell that stone. Keep my crystal stone. Sell the lump of gold for 37. I've got an extra kiwi. Let's eat that sucker. Anything else? I've got an extra iron boot. Yeah. You can have this extra iron boot. I could get the rust removed from that other boot of kicking if I wanted. Well, too much for that. Or too late for that. Alright. Back into the dungeon. But yeah, it's kind of a shame that I can't... Ah, you're counting the minutes to RimWorld. That's fine. <laughs> I like that game a lot. So I can understand. But yeah, I, I like... Like, natural body parts... They can grow to outrageous proportions if you give them enough attention. If you, uh, if you work with them enough. Not my crystal stone. I want... I, I took the lump. I, I don't need a lump of steel. <laughs> I don't know why I picked up the lump of steel. That was just a, uh, just a reaction on my part. But you can have some if you really train your body parts. You can get some really epic, epically strong body parts. But uh, you just have to do it the right way. But it takes a lot of work. Whereas this, I can just pr you know I get my limbs severed. I do a bit of praying, and poof, there's my new awesome limb, better than the old one. Right, I did want to offer some things to Silva here, once again. Right, I could have offered that Kiwi. That would have been a per per uh, perfect thing to offer. Oh well. There'll be plenty of more offerings for Silva. Like, let's see. Hardened Leather Armor plus one. That's a good offering. What other things? Like, I think she likes natural things, like leathers and stuff. Like the materials that are part of her thing. Let's see, you've got... Broken equipment because I broke it all. A holy book. I don't think you care about other people's holy books as much. Not one of those gods. Leather helmet. I'll take that. Copper short sword. What the hey? Let's see. Oh, that's a bronze bear trap. Okay, well. Anything that isn't broken kind of works. But the bear trap's now... Yeah. Now broken. I can I can I can offer the weapons. But if I offer enough things to Silva, like she she'll bless me with maybe an angel or just new limbs on demand, which I like I like having somebody who's waiting to offer me new limbs on demand when I lose the old ones. Because I'm probably gonna lose these eventually, so let's uh 
Let's get some credit. Ah, yes, very truly does... Yeah. She she liked... Wait, was that the bronze? No, it was the leather. Copper, pleased. Copper, pleased. Iron, pleased. Yeah, pleased about these, but... An angel of Silva appears. Okay, I didn't know I had that much... I didn't know I had that much credit with Silva. Nice! Silva is very pleased with you. I have been a good worshipper of Silva, the plant goddess. I did read several of her books, but... Hi there. What's your equipments? An angel hair cloak. Thank you, I'll take that. I'll be taking that now. And you have a mithril warhammer. And two mithril warhammers plus two. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> uh, sounds good. I'd love to come to Turkey, quite frankly. That, that would be, that'd be very nice. All right, angel hair cloak plus one. Yeah, I'd love I'd love to travel all over the place, really. So, I would be losing my cloak of fire resistance. However, angel hair cloak plus one. That's a lot of chest defense. Okay, you can have my old fire resistance cloak. I've got a ring of fire resistance for now. Nice. Okay, so I've got a friendly angel. That'll make my life a lot easier. But yeah, doing like a fan meetup, like in various countries. Like, uh, there's this guy called uh, Joe Goes on the internet. He's another YouTuber, but he's he's done fan meetups in several countries. And uh, yeah, that'd be fun. Alright, so now I got my friendly Angel of Silva. Let's, let's continue our adventure with her. Or him. Or it. Ooh, enchant weapon and armor. Nice. Corpse of a werewolf. Okay, so that's good. Now, how many more do we need for a wand? Like, two more? Yeah. Need two more of them. Ah, that was the werewolf, yeah. Who has all those wolves. Okay, the angel has detonated all those wolves for me. That angel's just re wrecking everything right now. Ring of teleportation, thank you. The lithium golem. Can I fight something? Hey, angel, can I fight something? I would like to fight something. No? Okay, fine. The angel's is faster than me, and whenever I meet something... <laughs> ah, I could make a lot of subscribers making vlogs. That'd be cool too, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely it's a legendary city. I would say. A lot of history there. That's a, that's and you know, that's a kind of unfortunate thing for a history buff like I am. Ow! You're hit by an explosion. There was a mine. Oh, that's the dwarven minefield over there. Okay, easy now. Is uh just the United States doesn't have a ton of history. Like, you know, the the buildings and stuff, I mean. But, like, you know, if you just go around Europe, there's just, like, a lot, a lot more historically interesting things. Oh, the Civil War is a lot of fun, <laughs> honestly, as far as a topic of interest. <laughs> that, though, what a fun war, the Civil War, brother fighting brother. But you know what I mean. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, Civil War history is kind of interesting. Alright, we're in the Dwarven Minefield. The Dwarven Minefield's killed better men than me. In fact, maybe I don't want to mess with the Dwarven Minefield right now, because... Yeah, my life's going pretty good. In fact, yeah, let's, uh, you know, I've got, I've got enough, I've got enough scrolls to do the Wand of Mirroring thing again. If I just do things right this time. Maybe I should just do that. Triangular key. Sounds good to me. I will eat the lion until I am satisfied. I have eaten the heart of a lion, and now I have the strength of the lion, or the courage, the bravery of the lion. <laughs> Doesn't work like that? Okay. The door is locked. With what kind of lock? With what kind of lock? A square lock. I have a triangle key. Okay. Well, that's... It's not what I wanted. Kick. Yep, there was an explosion. 
Good thing you set down your ones. Can I fight the golem? <laughs> the, the angel just pushes me out of the way. It's like, out of the way, mortal. I've got this. I want to fight it. it. It literally will displace me to fight the enemy. And resists my pushing. The angel, it, I think, I think you're allowed to displace someone if you're stronger than them. <laughs> and so it's like the angel of civil resist. It's like, can I, can I go there? No, you're too weak. <laughs> let's me, let's me do all the fighting. I want to do the fighting. No, you're not strong enough, mortal. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, uh, you're an avatar of silver. You, you will receive my protection and like it. Whoa, there's a, there's a bear trap there. <laughs> I mean, uh, the angel's nice and all, but he's got, he needs an attitude. He's got attitude issues. <laughs> he needs, needs to re learn to respect his master. That's all I'm saying. Not, oh, yeah. hey, buddy, come with me. All right, I want to, I want to do the duping. The super duper business. All right. Open. Take. Two scrolls of enchant armor. Two scrolls of charging. Wand of mirroring. All right. Enchant armor. Put. All right. Yeah. Activate chest. Take. Enchant weapon. Two scrolls of enchant armor. Alright, so now we got uh, three scrolls of enchant armor, one scrolls of enchant weapon. Wait, wasn't there one more? Did I not take one? One scroll repair. I'm off by one. I'm off by one. Three scrolls of enchant armor, one scroll of enchant weapon. We need five. We need five to fully take advantage of the trick. I mean, I could do it with four, and then just take one of the mirror images and start cloning the mirror image. And we'd be just wasting one, but, uh... I want to get the full potential out of this, so... Let's put up, put that all away again. Just need one more. Are we sure there wasn't one more in the library? I bet we can get one more. Just, I don't want to die before I get that last one. That'd be, that'd be a shame. Anyways, uh, this is a really good run, though. Um, but I'm gonna save it here. Do you truly wish to save and flee? Yes. This has been Itter the Hemens Ad Nisium. Sadly, we died twice. We have two, two roles in the high scores, the Adventurers Hall of Fame. But we're, we've got a really good run going. Any run where you've got an angel and two uh, enchanted limbs of various materials is a pretty good run, I would say. <laughs> Things are going pretty well, so... Maybe, just maybe, we can take this all the way. I don't know, though. It's a hard game, so we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching. It's her Vehemens Ad Nisium. And uh, coming up next, I'm going to do the Robot Pit 2, because I feel like it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, yeah, Ataturk. Ataturk was an incredible, incredible general, just as far as, like, the tactics and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's certainly the history, that part of Turkey's history, exactly. It's like the military history of America, that's what I was saying, isn't quite as interesting as other countries where there's a lot more. So, from a military history standpoint, it's interesting, but, yeah. See you next time, guys. I'll see you at 7, and, uh, also at 10 for RimWorld. See you then. Thanks for watching.